Welcome back, everybody. It's me, Dub, your host of the Honor Show, and I am back with some straight up fire for you guys today. We'll see. Today, we're gonna cover another song by one of my new most favorite rappers, one of the most prolific MCs out there. I'm talking about Sten Johnny. Woo! <laughs> Before we get started, I just want to say that this particular song he made while playing a character named Punkin' Lusty off the hit show Reservation Dogs off the channel FX. So even though it's straight fire and it's got bars and the beats off the hook, it's still supposed to be humorous and is not necessarily indicative of his work. I immediately wanted to review this song as soon as I heard it, not just because of the dope beat and the top-notch rapping, but he's rapping about fry bread here, and I freaking love fry bread. I grew up on fry bread. I grew up with my homies on the Fond du Lac Reservation in Minnesota, so it's fun for me to hear some of the lingo and similarities and differences from Fond du Lac to the Muskegee Creek Nation where Sten Jotty's from. He cracks a lot of jokes on here and, and throws some stereotypes in there, and it's really a lot of fun going through the song, and it's really dope. Um, I'll talk more about the man Sten Jotty, who plays the character Punk and Lusty on Reservation Dogs, more after the song. For now, let's get it. Let's listen to it. Ha! I knew right when I seen him make this face that it was going to be cracking. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's get into this. Let's see why he's making that face. Baby girl, look deadly. Yeah. Why she yucking all resin? Hey. Hotter than a pan of fried bread grease. Have a native freaking powwow face. Hey. <laughs> yes, I love it. I effing love it. I love the way he works little jokes and like stereotypes into the song. Like when he said this. Why she acting all resin? Hey. It's like saying, why is she acting so hood or why is she acting so ghetto? But that's what you say on the res because she's from the res. So, I mean, obviously, but I like how he's got a couple of homegirls dancing on there in the beginning too. That's the shit. And then he goes hotter than a pen of fry bread grease. Yeah! Fry bread is a staple when it comes to food in the Native American culture. They get that grease boiling hot and popping. So if old girl is hotter than a pen of fry bread grease, ooh, she popping. <laughs> this here's my favorite though. Have a native freaking powwow face. Yes, yes, I freaking love that shit. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Yeah, hell yeah. I go to powwows. I go to powwows here on Fond du Lac Reservation, and when they do that drumming, it's spiritual. They they really put their real heart and soul into it because they're they're doing it for the creator. Like those drummers aren't even allowed to ever drink alcohol or nothing, and they take it very seriously i mean they pound them drums sometimes like they get into a trance i mean they go hard that's why dude was like freaking powwow beats woo, woo. did his warrior cry there all right let's move on let's hear more of the song it, it hasn't even started yet it's great got your auntie in the kitchen like no he didn't no he got a grandma skilly like she about to kill it yes i like how he got all the aunties and the grannies in there shaking their heads like, nah, uh. I'll tell you one thing, you do not 
want to piss those ladies off. Why? 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 Because them women are tough, boy. Them women will beat you up worse than a regular dude, I'm telling you. By the way, did you see all the <laughs> lines of flour that he's got chopped up into lines on the mirror? <laughs> I love it. All right, let's go. Let's get some more. And you keep peace, creeping on the booty cheeks. Booty cheeks. Snagging and you bragging like who the freaks. Yes. Yo, he said TP creeping on them booty cheeks. What you got him watching, man? <laughs> we say TP creeping up on Fond du Lac, too. It's like, it's like a joke about, like, if you're at a powwow, you know, like, creeping around, peeping in, seeing if there's any freaks in there that want to get down. Obviously, if they're like, hey, get the hell out, or something, you, you got to get the hell out. But, you know, it's, it's teepee creeping. It's like there's teepee creeping, and then my one homeboy in prison told me, you got to watch out for Gima Gay. I said, Gima Gay? What the hell's Gima Gay? He said, that's Nighthawk. I said, what the hell's that? He goes, old sneak poonge. <laughs> <laughs> Poonging is stretching them buns if you ain't already figured that out. All right, let's continue on. Yes, I love the double entendres there. Talking about chopping up that white stuff, making it sound like dope, but really he's talking about the flour for the fry bread, yo. Uh, I'm confused. All right, let's go. Let's get some more. Here comes the hook, and it's the shit. Love it. I love how he's just biting the hell out of that fry bread, yo. Bread, greasy, greasy fry bread. Shit, I would be too if I had some fry bread right now. Damn, I want some fry bread right now. I'm gonna have to make a couple calls after this and get some down here. Do it. That hooks the shit though, ain't it? Greasy fry bread, greasy, greasy fry bread. Sweat dripping down the face on the stove top. Greasy fry bread, greasy, greasy fry bread. Slap a door in the grease and watch a grease pop. I love it. What? Oh my god! Stan Jotty does a great job too of just how he moves and how he acts on camera, like the, the sweat dripping and just all of it. And I love how he's got his peoples up in the video with them too. That that's awesome. These, these two these two are my favorite for sure. All right, let's continue on with the rest of the hook and on into the next verse. his flow on this song and the way he spits everything now watch that grease pop now watch that waist drop she got that blue bird thing in that tank top she got that white powder all over everything we get to bust a main but we ain't cousins main what <laughs> I love it that he worked that in there. There's a joke that some people see on the res, like, oh, well, we're all related anyways. We're all cousins. And then, But I've also heard some racist people try to use it in a negative way. But I, I like that Sten Jotty worked it into the song and just, you know, made it something funny and shit. Fresh, huh? 
All right, let's continue forward. Exactly. Right. Just because motherfuckers are from the same tribe don't mean that they're, like, related. Like, they have clans. I don't know how many the Muscogee Creek Nation has, but I know Fond du Lac, the Ojibwe, have several. They have Bear Clan, Loon Clan, and I believe several others. The animal symbolized the duties and the strength of the clans, as, as far as I know. All right, let's continue forward. She love my tattoos and my two braids, fried bread, money at the creek fest. Getting paid on that. Greasy fried bread, greasy, greasy fried bread. Sweat and dripping down the face from the stove tops. Greasy fried bread, greasy, greasy fried bread. Slap it, go, slap it, go, you watch the grease pop. Greasy fried bread, greasy, greasy fried bread. Sweat and dripping down the face from the stove tops. Greasy fried bread. She loved my tattoos and my two braids, fry bread money at the Creek Fest getting paid. Woohoo! You don't believe me? He ain't lying. He ain't just making up words for a song. You can seriously stack some real money like it's dope money by selling fry bread, especially at a big event like Creek Fest. One time I went with one of my homies down to the uh, where the elders live in the apartment building out there on the res, and they needed to raise some money, so we made fry bread and native tacos, and I'm telling you, we couldn't make them fast enough as people wanted to get them. We made a guap for the elders that day. Damn, man, didn't I tell you that song was fire? All right, like I said, I'm going to talk a little bit now about the artist, Sten Jotty, the guy who plays Punk and Lusty. Uh, I'm confused. Punk and Lusty is a character played by a real rapper and a real guy, Sten Jotty. Sten Jotty has a freaking phenomenal A-list catalog. You got to go check him out. Dude's been rapping since he was 12. He's a real positive member of his community. He is, really likes to be a positive voice and help advocate for people. He's a tattoo artist. He's an actor. And he, he really is uh, into positivity and just surrounded himself with all kinds of positive in his life. So the song we just listened to, like I said, was just supposed to be humorous and for fun. He was playing a character, but the song was still dope, as all of his songs are dope. So go check them out right now today. Yo, Stenjati, big props from Fond du Lac up in Minnesota. We love you up here, brother. You were cold as ice. <laughs> and I know you guys loved it too. So I ain't even gotta verbally tell you, y'all know what to do. Thank you very much to all my subscribers and everyone else who hasn't subscribed. Please help me get past 1,000. You gotta help me! Special shout out and extra, extra, extra special thanks to my brother and good friend, Casino Cuzzo. That's his amazing smash hit called Come From off of his classic debut album, Relentless Volume 1. It is absolutely one of the best albums I have ever heard in my entire life. It's never left my playlist and it never will. 
You can get it available on all platforms simply by clicking the link that I've provided in the description below. Also, you can buy super dope clothes. You can get super cool t-shirts with awesome graphics and Casino Kazo's face and logo and quotes from Casino Kazo himself on them. You can get dope hoodies. You can get awesome sweatpants that match the dope hoodies and t-shirts. Hey, that's pretty good. Like I said, just click the link below. God bless. You guys have a great day.